And again, wide period walls. And then all of a sudden there's this. They call it the cave, which makes sense. But who in God's name made this? Clearly, this was once sealed up. With these holes. A really simple guess would be that this was for collecting water, because there seems to be a chamber underneath it. can't be the same people who, who made the walls. You notice that broken. Somebody probably smashed it through it, thinking gold or something was hiding. Same thing with the front. This was broken off. This piece was broken off. You see, these two would have slid together and fit together quite nicely. Now, if it was for water storage, by some megalithic culture. The water could come through this hole here. But what would they have made the actual draining system, or, you know, collection system out of? And that one's been recycled from an earlier function because the interior is quite inferior to the interior of this. And another one in behind here. It's got very nice fitting uh, stones, interlock. And when you look down to the surface, as if you were looking at a tabletop, not perfectly flat. I stupidly did not bring my measuring instruments with me because I didn't think we'd find this today. And looking down the line here, looks pretty, quite straight, as with this one.
3,400 feet above sea level, and we are at Vilksa Waman, whose orig uh, original name was probably Wilka Waman, which means the sacred falcon. What's really intriguing here is this little section. This is the original, or what's left, of the original megalithic ancient builder's work. And you see how some of the stones have snapped. But what's more intriguing is this patch here because the fire that caused the melting of this stone could not have simply been a fire that was next to the stone wall. That stone, probably basalt, has melted. So this could be a good example of what we're looking for in terms of evidence that about 12,000 years ago this planet was impacted by plasma from the Sun as the result of an outburst that scorched different parts of the Earth. It's not necessarily that it burnt the entire planet, but certain places, maybe high altitudes like this, got scorched. And that would have wiped out the majority of the population of people, plants, and other animals. That coincides with half of a processional cycle, more or less. And the idea is that about 12,000 years ago, this plasma ejection from the sun scorched parts of the earth, melted the ice caps of the North and South Pole, caused the sea level to rise by 350 feet on average, and altered the axis of the earth from straight up and down to its present 23.5 degrees. So if this theory holds true that about 12,000 years ago there was a mass eruption from the sun, and if it happened at dawn here, then east is, is there, and so the ejection from the sun would have struck certain points along this wall, especially here, and would have caused this incredible vitrification, this melting of the surface basalt stone, which is very hard. It takes, I don't know what temperature, but it takes a lot more than just a fire set here in order to melt it, melt the surface like that. And yet also the wall didn't move. And on a horizontal plane, this thing, this wall section here, is perfectly level. As in, it's not even one-tenth of one degree off perfect level. This is repair, probably done during the Inca period, because there is no concrete mortar. The Spanish brought concrete with them, so if the Spanish had fixed this, then they would have put a lot of cement in between, like they did when they built this church. Because that's Spanish style of building. See? And this is the original stuff. Pre-Inca, possibly pre 10,000 years ago, as wild as that sounds.